Hello, time again for another joke of the day. Today we're going to talk about a couple of women. Nothing bad about women in this story, uh, but a couple of women who dressed in religious garb that many would be well acquainted with if they saw it. Um, and uh, <clears throat> they were driving down the road and one of them realized that they had forgotten to look at the gas gauge as they passed through the last town that was a few miles back. And so they felt a jerking and a pulling of the car, and it just went vroom, and they coasted to the side of the road out of gas. So they got out, and they knew what the problem was, but they had no vessels to carry gasoline in, and they just weren't quite sure what to do when a fellow stopped by, stopped, pulled over across the road from them in a, a, a vehicle, and said, uh, uh, you, uh, you sisters got a problem? And they said, yes, we have, we have ran out of gas. He said, well, I'm on my way back to the town and I would be glad to give you a ride to town and bring you back to your car. I'm not doing anything today. And so they decided to take the risk of getting in the car with this kindly gentleman and let him escort them into the community. And they pulled into a, a service station, a gas station, and they wanted to buy the gas, but again, they had nothing to put the gas in, and the fellow who had brought them to town didn't have anything either, and so uh, the owner said, well, you know, I've got a little bit of a junk pile out back. You're welcome to go out there and rummage through that, and if you find something that'll hold gasoline, you can just have it. So they went out, and it was kind of a place in disarray, and sure enough, there was all kinds of miscellaneous out there that nobody really wanted, and they found a metal bedpan. One of them said, well, you know, we've worked in the hospital and we certainly have used these types of vessels before. We're not unacquainted with them. And so they, they looked at it and it was fairly clean looking on the inside. And, and they went out to the pump and they pumped that bedpan full of gasoline. And uh, <clears throat> Then they went in, they paid for the gasoline, and they got back in the vehicle with the kindly man who took them back to their car and dropped them off. He made a U-turn and started back to town. So the two sisters opened up the side of their car and op took off the gas cap. Uh, they had a little bit of a makeshift funnel, and, and they put it there, and they began to drain the gasoline from the bedpan into their car. About that time, uh, Two preachers who, uh, who prided themselves on their ministry of faith in God and miracles and that sort of thing were driving by and from a distance they could see there were two, two sisters uh, there pouring gasoline into the car and as they got close enough they realized that they were pouring from a bedpan. And with that the one preacher looked at the other and said, you know, I wish we could have that kind of faith. <laughs> have a good day. We'll try another one later on.